Alright everybody, welcome back to Dragon Age 2. Let's see what kind of offers our uncle has for us. We don't have any choice, do we? I need to get my family into Kirkwall. I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. Hmm. The catch is, you and your brother will have to work off the debt. For a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. Really? A year? That's ridiculous. Oh my god. So, you're selling us into indentured servitude? That's your idea? Think of it as having a job waiting for you in your new home. I guess it's only a year, right? I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Fenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. A mercenary and a smuggler, huh? What's Carver think? What do you think about this, Carver? What can I say? Better here than nowhere. <laughs> You're a lot of help, you Nathaniel ripoff. You're no help at all. What kind of man is this Miran? He's a hired sword. What do you expect him to be like? I wouldn't bring him home for dinner or anything, but he's got a decent reputation. I wouldn't have asked him if I thought he'd cross you. How dangerous is this smuggler's work? Well, it won't be pretty working for her. She's a pretty small fish compared to some of the other thieves' guilds around here. But she's tough, she's fair, and she never deals in slaves or flesh. Okay. So no flesh, no slaves. But she's a... Oh, she's a thief, though. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Thank you. You're welcome. Just don't get in our way. They, oh, this sucks. So it's a mercenary or a smuggler. And a whole year of servitude, I mean, it's just ri I hate you, Uncle. Remember, it's Miran or Athenian you're looking for. Either of them can help you out. I never thought I would find myself begging to be allowed back into Kirkwall. I know. What's that? What's that little thing? What's that? Stupid thing. Oh. There's somebody over here we can... Mirren? And you must be Hawk. Nice. Hey. Your uncle talked up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. Let's see what these guys want done first. I'd like to know more about you first. Right. You're not a marcher like your uncle. The Red Iron is well known in these parts. We pick who we work for and keep our noses clean. But anyone screws with us, we mess them up. Makes sense. Makes sense. All I know is if we join the company, I'm going to start talking like that. Ah. So these guys are, they kind of sound like right up my alley, actually. Getting us into the city will take a lot of coin. <laughs> Did I mention the Red Iron gets paid pretty well? Not to mention your uncle said you were a mage. We're willing to pay for that. How do you know I'm a... I didn't realize Gamlin told you that. You stick with us. You'll be safe. 
A year, at least. Okay. My uncle doesn't seem like the sort to hang out with mercenaries. He doesn't. Gamlin cheated one of my men at a wallop match. You turn out, we'll call it even. I'm not sure yet. Can I like... I wish I was at... Well, the side later because I wanted to go talk to the other guys. These guys will be more up my alley anyway. I'm ready to prove myself. Noble bastard named Friedrich is here in the gallows. Gave us bad info. Almost killed my men. Now he's hiding out here, waiting for a ship. He sees us coming, he'll run for sure. But he doesn't know you. Go kill him and his men. We'll make sure no one asked why. I'm supposed to kill some- Really? I'm like supposed to kill somebody? I don't- I don't know that I'm necessarily completely comfortable with the idea of offing somebody. I want to see what she's all about here. She's cute. Are you a Senrel? You must be Gamlin's niece. Interesting. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. Uh, how much exactly? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. How did you get to be one of my uncle's contacts? Is that what he calls me? He owes us after that last big idea. If you turn out, though, we'll consider things even. What big idea? I hear getting us into the city isn't cheap. If you're as good as your uncle claims, we're hoping you'll be worth it. After all, it's not every day we're offered an apostate services. Does everyone know about us? If the Circle hasn't descended upon you, my guess is no. The Templars in Kirkwall like to think they have all mages properly leashed, but when has that ever been true? We can keep them from taking notice while you're with us. Wouldn't be the first time. Hmm. I'd like to know more about what we'd be doing for you. I can be honest. We don't compete with the Thieves' Guild, but we keep our fingers in a lot of pots. That said, we're not killers or slavers. Anything short of that, however, is fair game. Do what you want, but this sounds fishy to me. Begging and taking your pick never went hand in hand. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'll find some other way into the city. Suit yourself. I'll be around for a bit, if you change your mind. I think it'd be interesting to work under her, but... I'm not going- I'm gonna do what's right. I'm gonna work for mercenaries. Even though they make me kill people. But she's not a hired assassin. Let's, um... Let's save. There we go. Quick save. Have you checked the courtyard again? He's still out there, but he's alone. And he's not making a move. I don't trust this. What will we do when the ship comes? Wait. Who are you? I demand to know what you're doing here. Hey, what's up? I want to hear what you have to say before I decide anything. Mirren sent them. I'm not an idiot. I could have figured that out for myself. Look, you. I don't know what that pissant thug is paying you, but I'll double it. Just let us go. I might change my mind if I knew how you wronged the Red Iron. Ugh, those fools take everything so personally. So I told Lord Asheral they were coming. It was business. I was perfectly willing to give the Red Iron a share, or all of it. I could give it to you as well. Just let me go. Really? That's... No, that's not gonna happen. Or I could take the money off your corpse. Blasted idiot dog lords. Don't just stand there. Kill them! Now! Not that I would take the money off their corpse. I just... 
I just think that it's um, more wise Fight. to do as I was told and off them. That's my reasoning. Ow. Unworthy. You are not enough. There we go. Finally, mind blasted. That took a bit. Get that guy with this. Oh, they're like almost. I don't have any potions. You guys are on your own. Oh crap. I am like so doomed, you have no idea. Ow. That didn't work right. Okay. I just died horribly because I have absolutely no potions. That is so horrible. That did not go over well. So we're just gonna load our last save. It's a good thing we saved right before we went into that. It's always a good thing to save. We're in Kirkwall, doing stuff. Have you checked the courtyard again? He's still out there. Yaddy, 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 yes. Who are you? We're here to talk. And look, you. And I, I want to know what you I did. I was perfectly willing to give the Red Iron a share, or all of it. And I want to attack give it to you. you as well. Just let me go. Or I could take. Blasted idiot dog lords. Let's go. Don't just stand there. Kill them. To a well, why is it? Does Aveline not want me to kill them? Aveline, seriously, you drive me crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna cut the video off here, and when we come back, more Dragon Age 2. Thanks for watching, guys.